Helen Mack, November 13, 1913, August 13, 1986, was an American actress. Mack started her career as a child actress in silent films, moving on to Broadway plays, and touring the vaudeville circuit. Her greater success as an actress was as a leading lady in the 1930s. Eventually Mack transitioned into performing on radio, and then into writing, directing, and producing some of the best-known radio shows during the golden age of radio. Later in life, Mack built herself as a professional writer, writing for Broadway, stage, and television. Her career spanned the infancy of the motion picture industry, the beginnings of Broadway, the final days of vaudeville, the transition to talking pictures, the golden age of radio, and the rise of television. Her Fox film screen test came in March 1931 and within three weeks she was on the studio lot. Mack began her film career, first billed as Helen Max, in success. She also had a small role in D.W. Griffith's last film The Struggle, 1931. She made her debut as a leading lady opposite Victor McLaglen in While Paris Sleeps, 1932 and was cast with John Bowles in his initial Fox film venture, Scotch Valley. Mac played in several westerns in the early 1930s. Among these are Fargo Express, 1933 with Ken Maynard and The California Trail with Buck Jones. She may be best remembered for the 1933 movie sequel The Son of Kong, as Harold Lloyd's sister in The Milky Way, 1936 and as the suicidal Molly Malloy in His Girl Friday, 1940. In 1931, 13 members of the Fox Film Company publicity department resigned in protest after Wampas did not include a Fox starlet on their annual list of baby stars. Linda Watkins missed by one vote and Mac was a bit farther down the list of those omitted. In response Fox named Mac, Watkins, and Conchita Montenegro as rival debutantes or budding stars. Fox proposed to name baby stars for each year after, by a vote of its executives.